Right now, NBC 5's Mike Berman has a look at today's sports. Hey, Mike. All right, Regina, the Cubs stay hot. And speaking of hot, the Fire get a big night from their elder statesman, Kai Kamara. Plus, the Sox hit the ball a lot and hard over and over again in Pittsburgh. Stay with us. All those stories and many more next in sports. Good morning, everyone. Unfortunately, it happened again. Double-digit runs in a White Sox game. Sox gave up 13 a couple days ago. They gave up 16 three days ago. And they gave up 12 on Monday. They've got to get this thing figured out or else. Oh. Wait, what's that? Oh, I'm being told the Sox scored in double digits yesterday. So I guess we're good. Okay, roll the tape. To Pittsburgh, where the Southsiders offense racked up 14 hits. Six players. Had a couple hits, including Andrew Benintendi, who bloops one to left in the third to put the Sox ahead two to one. Still in the third, Yasmani Grandal, who also had two hits, putting the Sox up five to one with a two-run single. Solid start to the season for Yaz. And Oscar Colas had a pair of run scoring singles, including this one in the seventh. White Sox win easily with a season-high 11 runs. Mike Clevenger wins his second straight to start the year, and Pedro Grafal is happy. Really good day um, as a team. You know, the pitching was good, the bullpen was good, and the hitting was really good, and we ran the bases really well. We got some depth in our lineup. When the bottom of the order is performing like that, and the top of the order has the ability it has, uh, you know, it, it'll be a handful for anybody. It was a good day for the current White Sox. It was a great day for a former member of the White Sox. Frank Thomas helped unveil his statue outside Auburn's baseball stadium. Thomas was a star hitter for the Tigers in the late 80s before the Sox drafted him seventh overall in 1989. Now the Big Hurt lives forever at his alma mater. It was surreal. Uh, this journey started as a football player and ended up being a Hall of Fame baseball player. Uh, just never knew this was going to happen, but God has a plan for everyone, and I'm so proud of what has happened in my life and career uh, throughout all the ups and downs. I've been a very prideful man, thankful man, and a very humble man. So um, this is a very important day for me and my family, and I thank God it happened. A statue on the south side, and now it is alma mater. Pretty special. Sunny day at Wrigley for the Cubs and Rangers. Justin Steele started. He gave up one run in six innings. Dansby Swanson roping one the other way in the third. RBI single breaks a 1-1 tie and makes it 2-1 Cubs. Next inning, Patrick Wisdom will tee off for his third homer of the season. It was all Cubs on the north side as they roll 10-3 for their third straight win. Well, it's been a wet, wet week at Augusta. Buckets of rain yesterday at the Masters, forcing the third round to be suspended before anyone finished. Tiger Woods did make the cut. His 23rd straight cut made at the Masters, but he's got no chance. Brooks Kepka's the guy everyone's chasing. He's got a four-shot lead with a lot of Sunday golf to be played. Be fun to see what happens in Augusta. On the lakefront, the fire hosting Minnesota United. It was a big first half for Kai Kamara. Some pretty footwork in the 24th minute helps him send it past the keeper to make it 1-0, and that'll give us a heart-shaped celebration. Then a beautiful header in the 36th minute. What a goal, making it 2-0 fire, and they're going to hang on to win their first home match of the season, 2-1. More local soccer from Bridgeview. That's where the Red Stars stepped out of league play to host the Mexican women's national team. This is a ridiculous goal by the Red Stars' Julia Bianchi in the 40th minute. Check out the replay. She's going to bend it in off the corner kick all by herself. Very impressive. That gets the Red Stars on the scoreboard, but they were down 3-1 to there, and they end up losing 5-2. to What's potentially a much bigger loss for the Red Stars is this. Mallory Swanson went down with a left knee injury. She was playing for Team USA in a match against Ireland in Austin, Texas. Swanson was clearly in a lot of pain. The superstar was carted off the field and taken to a local hospital. Swanson's injury could also be a huge blow to the U.S. national team, which is just months away from trying to win a third straight Women's World Cup. All good thoughts there. We hope she is okay. Finally, back to Wrigley, where this dude proves, yes, you can buy the bat that holds the beer and pretend you're playing in the game. <laughs> Some adult practice going on right there in the bleachers. And I must say, I'm impressed because his priority was making sure none of that beer fell out of the bat. I think he succeeded.
<laughs> All righty, folks, that's a wrap on your Sunday morning in sports. Go out and make it a great day and a great end to your weekend.